So to start this off, the only substances I have tried as of yet are weed and nicotine, so it's safe to say that I was absolutely not prepared for the insanity that I just induced upon myself. So to set the scene, I am an 18 year old male in my bedroom with absolutely nothing to do, as my cart had just run dry and none of my friends had anything. So I decided to do a little experiment and take 30 milligrams of Zyrtec, three pills that I had lying around, as in the past I've gotten decently buzzed off of it due to its ability to induce drowsiness. It's one of the safest antihistamines that you can take recreationally, as there are no reported cases of fatal overdoses or long-term side effects in adults as of now. I should warn you though, if you plan on taking the substance, I strongly advise against doing so if you have anything to do the day after, as my experience will demonstrate. So I pop the pills and play a little Modern Warfare 2 until I start to get the memory of a goldfish. I was on a voice call with my girlfriend and would forget what I was talking about mid-sentence and would do things I wouldn't even remember, such as plugging my headphones into the wrong controller or eating an entire bag of jalapeno potato chips without even realizing it. It was actually a very pleasant experience as it causes a warm and fuzzy feeling in the body and creates a very nice head high and can very easily put you to sleep. I have a pretty nice night chatting with my girlfriend and watching Let's Plays on YouTube, and three hours pass by at a snail's pace. Seriously, this shit will make one minute feel like 20. Anyways, after the three hours pass, I decide to pop two more and enjoy the sunrise. Big. Fucking. Mistake. Now we get to the part where I'm going to have a lot of difficulty accurately describing the events that took place, as Zyrtec at this high of a dose, combined with sleep, can produce extremely vivid dreams that feel as though they go on for hours or even days, and images and ideas bleed into each other seamlessly to the point where it can feel as though you've been awake this entire time, even though you're completely unconscious. If my memory serves me right, I fell asleep at about 7 o'clock in the morning, and my trip of a lifetime began. I had recurring dreams of having to go to school, even though school starts in a week, a fact that was also brought up multiple times in the trip, furthering my confusion. I had a dream where I had to go into this greenhouse where ingredients were stored to make something. I had no fucking clue what was going on. The greenhouse was very narrow and was packed with students who were all clamoring over each other to grab these ingredients. I saw this one girl who had a pot of what she said were eggs, even though they looked more like a quiche than raw eggs and then she stuck an entire sausage in it for some fucking reason. Apparently, there's also this ritual in the culinary program that I was now a part of where freshmen are made to stand in the greenhouse and are pelted with different food items, which I now realize is actually from a film called Raw that my brain decided to throw into this reality for some reason. I was aimlessly walking around until I finally realized that this was all a dream and I snapped out of it. The thing was, I actually didn't snap out of it as now I was in a brand new reality, one where I still took the Zyrtec and knew that I was fucking tripping balls, but didn't know that everything was all being conjured in my unconscious mind. In this reality, I was talking with my girlfriend and asking her what I should do, as I was freaking the fuck out and had no clue what to do to make this trip end. She tried to comfort me until I decided to go downstairs to stock up on some snacks. My room is on the top floor of my house. I knew that it was early in the morning and my dad was about to go to work, so I prayed to God that he wouldn't be down there, but lo and behold, there he was. He immediately hugged me and then I made my way down to the kitchen without making eye contact so he wouldn't know I was tripping balls. But then, standing in the kitchen was my mom and then all four of my siblings come flooding into the kitchen along with my dad and I start to freak the fuck out. I try to remain calm and just look around for food, but then my dad starts berating me and telling me that I need to get my driver's license and join the army. That part sounded weird to me because my whole family knew that I would never join the military, and that helped me to realize that this too was a false reality. So I went back up to my room and then I think I woke up in real life. What made me realize that I was really fucked up was that I could barely tell that I was actually awake. It was the highest I had ever been and I had been very fucking high before and it was on allergy meds that I have taken all my life. In another reality, I was also back in school but now I was taking these art classes that were in the basement of one of the buildings and all we did was sit at these desks until the professor told us we could leave. But as I was leaving, all hell broke loose. As I walked out, the campus was attacked by various Mortal Kombat and DC characters, I shit you not. 
So as you can imagine, I'm freaked the fuck out and try to hide when some event that I can't remember happens, and Harley Quinn is after me and trying to kill me. I get cornered and start fighting her, and she injects me with Joker toxin before some guy who kinda looks like Spawn stabbed himself in the throat for no fucking reason. I rushed over to him to try to stop the bleeding, and suddenly, I was awake again. I texted my girlfriend and told her I was completely fucked up and fell back asleep. Keep in mind, at this point, I have been tripping for about 18 hours. Throughout this whole experience, I felt as though my sense of self and my very notion of what reality was was slipping away and fading into a kaleidoscope of different realities. I was forgetting what it was like to be normal, and it felt like I was going to have a fucking panic attack at various points because of how stressful the experience got at some points. What got me through this was the voice of the YouTuber Psych Substance telling me not to let go of my ego and let myself float through the experience, and the reoccurrence of the Beatles throughout these various realities. I'm a huge Beatles fan, I know, how original, and the band kept popping up in various places. People would reference their songs or I would see references to them somewhere, and at one point I remember being in this medieval-esque setting that was dedicated to them. This reminded me of who I was, and I also felt a weird spiritual connection to their music throughout the trip, even though I'm not religious in any regard. I have just come down from the trip as I am writing this report, and I have to say that it was a very eye-opening and exhausting experience. I took the pills at around 10pm last night and it is currently almost 10pm as I finish writing this. I literally slept through the whole fucking day. So in conclusion, Zyrtec is not something to fuck around with. It can take you to places that can cause extreme anxiety and can fuck up your entire day, or days, depending on how much you take. If you plan on taking any recreationally, probably just take one or two to get a nice buzz, but don't take any more unless you're ready to spend days living out the plot of Sharkboy and Lava Girl. Thank you for listening, and peace out. Wow, I did not know you can get high off of Zyrtec and experience such things like he did. That shit was pretty insane. Zyrtec reminds me of that Adult Swim video that came out a long time ago called Unedited Footage of a Bear. I think that's what it's called or something like that where an allergy medication commercial goes awry and it's wild. Just go watch it if you have time since this video is over and you can watch whatever you want. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and comment down below what you thought of it. And subscribe if you're new here. And if you made it this far, hell, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future upload. I upload a lot, so you do not want to miss any of that shit. People who find my channel tend to binge it in a week, so if you want to stay updated on my videos and never run out, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful day.